are you if you have a thin are you doing uh, soft tissue grafting before you go in and place the implants or do a bone graft or are you doing it you said at, at least some of the times you're doing it simultaneous do you ever do it after you do the bone graft a um, couple of things i will usually put a connective tissue graft underneath my buccal flap when I'm doing the bone graft and membrane. I say bone graft and membrane because it's very rare not to have a membrane in there, you know? And as you know, I still use a lot, I use a lot of titanium reinforced membranes still. What my membrane selection is totally dependent upon defect morphology. Non-space maintaining defect, titanium reinforced membrane, no matter what the biotype is. But in those thin ones, I'll put a, a, a soft tissue allograft underneath there at the same time. So. Cool. And the, you said if it needs space maintenance, I know we have with the titanium reinforced, we have like what we call a thick and a thin. So it's 250 micron thick is the original. And then yeah. 150 micron thick is our thinner for thin tissue biotypes. Do right. you think that that, I know some people think that that matters a lot. Uh, you know, maybe they're seeing less soft tissue dehiscence with the, with the thinner one. And some people probably think, hey, the 250 works every time for them. What What's your take on that? Do you... Do you pick and choose which thickness you use, or do you think it doesn't matter to you? I think it does matter, but it's interesting. I'm not saying that with a thicker one, thicker uh, membrane, you can't keep primary closure because you can. But, you know, why not um, uh, limit your window of vulnerability, right? It's like in an operating room, you never have sterility, but you try and, try and uh, shrink the window of vulnerability. So if this is another thing that's going to help us, I think it was a great thing when you guys came out with the, the thinner membrane and they got different ones for different indications. I mean, that was a really um, perceptive uh, 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 thing to do. And no, I do use the thinner one in thinner biotypes because why would I not? You know, and as an aside, I, I, I laugh at people, laugh about people who say, you know, I don't want to keep that many membranes. You know, you're treating human beings. You have to have an inventory. I think you need thick and thin, and you use them where you have to use them. It drives me nuts. I'm going to do this case. Let's see, what membrane should I order? What are you talking about? You know, it just makes no sense to me. So I use them both.